There are a lot of things that give a piece of music its personality. Accents are at the top of the list for music written for percussion instruments. So many of the influences for drummers, African music, Brazilian music, jazz and rock music, have enormous rhythmic drive, and accents are part of the reason why that music is so fascinating. Listen to the next piece of music. We're going to play it twice. The first time, we're going to leave out the accents. Then, we'll put them back in. I think you'll hear a pretty big difference. Executing accents is all about controlling the height of rise. Not only do you need to play accented strokes higher, but it is also really important to play the unaccented notes lower. You're trying to create contrast, trying to set the really important notes apart from the notes that are just accompaniment. As you study the following exercises, remember to keep the unaccented notes very low and even while playing a big, full stroke for the accents. Many of the standard 26 American rudiments can also be used for developing accents, such as the paradiddle, the double paradiddle, the paradiddle diddle, and so on. Also, a player can sometimes add accents on strong beats, even when they aren't written in the part. Those are called agogic accents and can help the music feel more natural. If the part is written, you might play because it sounds more organic. Remember to practice accents in soft passages, too. Take all of the exercises we're presenting and play them at a variety of dynamic levels and tempos. If you're really going to make music, you'll need to develop the tools to deal with lots of different technical demands. Once you've gotten the hang of the wrist stroke, you can begin experimenting with a subtle whipping motion. Try elevating the wrist slightly before executing the accent, and then whipping the tip of the stick into the playing surface. Like with the wrist stroke, the motion is smooth and unforced. As you can see, it's just another way of setting the height of rise of the accented notes apart from the inner notes. This technique may help you increase the tempo of many passages without tensing up. You'll probably notice me using this technique frequently as I demonstrate things. It's something I feel comfortable with. You can try it, and if it's not working, go back to the pure wrist stroke. <laughs> 